I got one. I caught some spuds. Who it is? Hello. Look at that hair. I don't think you guys have seen her new hair, have you? We have not seen the hair. Rocking it <laughs> right in front of the slumber queen too. Oh yeah. I missed this girl. You missed that girl. The people have missed you, Tessa. Aww. The people have missed you. Thank you. We've all missed you. We missed you too. Much Even more. though I've been with you for the last <laughs> month straight. <laughs> like almost see you every day. Almost every day. But it's fine. Good. Glad to have you back. Okay. I'll see you later. All right. All right. Uh, well, I'm, I'm Wait, but you need to help me with something before you go. It's always something. Come on. You know me by now. Oh my gosh. Look at they're hiding from the, the weather again. Hi. Hello again. Ben? Ben? Don't be barking. He will not leave that blanket, guys. He just loves that little blanket. <laughs> He's literally there all day. Doesn't matter how hot it Doesn't is. Doesn't matter how hot it is. I'm sweating just looking at him. Oh. <laughs> Headroom I have. Oh, it's pretty good. It's better than before. It's better than the other one that I had. Oh man, it's hot. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Catch you later. All right, bye. Peace. Peace, Peace and love, baby. Peace and love. Bye, everyone. No, for real, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, she's actually leaving. Thanks for the help, though. You're welcome. Thank you. Of course, fun. Have fun. I showed you guys this once before, but how friggin' cool is this? Okay, so you guys might be wondering why I put this sleeping platform in the Tacoma when I just announced that I'm gonna be in the Slumber Queen again. And the reason is because the parts are gonna take a couple weeks just to get here and then the shop has to install all of the parts after that. So it's not gonna be ready to go for another couple of weeks. And I wanna do some camping and truck camping and exploring and fishing and adventuring in the meantime. And so I had this, I had this uh, sleeping pl platform in my parents' backyard from previous builds in the past. So I decided to just put it in. This is the cool little camper that I got. As you can see, both of the windows open up, which is super, super rad. Uh, it gives me really easy access to get stuff on the side of the sleeping platform. And if it's nice and hot outside, then I could just fully open up the doors to get airflow. Don't worry, the slumber queen's coming. She's coming back with a vengeance. Well, that looks cozy. So we're currently headed up in the San Gabriel Mountains to a spot that we actually found yesterday. It's a lake up here in the mountains and we did a little bit of fly fishing yesterday. Um, it's not the best lake, but we're in Los Angeles, so what do you expect? It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool, honestly. I caught a little a little smallmouth bass. I think it was a smallmouth bass. I'm not sure completely. So we're headed back up there. We're gonna camp in the area because there's a campground right next door and hopefully we get some more fish. nice to have a chair would really suck to forget a chair out here oh sorry <laughs> unfortunately we got to our campsite pretty late and uh, it's gonna be dark soon so instead of fishing tonight we're just gonna set up take it easy cook some food and then we'll get up nice and early tomorrow to fish in the morning
So this guy, uh, his tent poles, the string that holds it all together when we went backpacking last, his string completely <laughs> broke. So he has to assemble his tent poles one by one like a puzzle. <laughs> so sad. He's using my, we have the same tent, so he's using my, uh, my poles here as reference. <laughs> Good luck, dude. <laughs> I'll be over there eating if you need me. I need help. <laughs> no! <laughs> I feel kind of bad. I'm over here about to have a beer, sleeping in my truck. We've got a Cerveza Zolupez, Zolupez Beer Company. It's a Mexican, Mexican beer company, and it's an amber ale. I've never had a Mexican style amber ale. Did you get it? I got it. Dang, that was, that was quick. That was quick. That's why I wasn't helping. I was like, ah, oh, he's gotta learn. Cheers. Oh, wow. Yum. <clears throat> now he's gonna label each piece so next time he knows exactly what goes where in what order pretty genius actually progress <laughs> Good news guys, Kang was able to assemble his tent. He's got this nice little grove of trees to sleep in. Not bad. I personally, I'm gonna be sleeping in my truck up there, so. Yee! Right now in California, it is definitely fire season. So if you're gonna have a fire, make sure you do it in a spot where there's already a pre-existing fire ring. We don't want any more fires over here on the West. And in fact, if you're anywhere in the West Coast, Oregon, Washington, Colorado, Idaho, make sure you're using fire rings because we all know the wildfires are insane. Scrape it onto the bone. <laughs> All right, we uh we whipped up some burgers because wanted to keep it simple and looks like a really good burger. I don't even know if you guys could see me. It's so dark out right now. Dude, you should put the Jarlsberg. <laughs> oh. That white, that white stuff you saw me scooping onto the burger. It's like a Jarlsberg Swiss cheese dip that has red onions. It's delicious. While we finish up these burgers, why don't we take a quick moment to hear a word from our sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Are you somebody who's looking to enhance your creative skill set and bring your craft to the next level? If so, then Skillshare is the perfect platform for you. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators to learn new skills, deepen existing passions, and really just get lost in creativity. With classes and subjects ranging from photography to filmmaking to even plant care, Skillshare has classes to satisfy everybody's interests and skill level. One of the best parts is that it is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads 
and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow your creativity wherever that may lead you. One of my favorite classes that I've been watching lately is called Productivity for Creatives. This class is taught by YouTuber Thomas Frank, and in this class, Thomas highlights why it is important for creators to build systems, how these systems in turn increase efficiency and effectiveness, and how you can get started creating your own systems and implementing them for greater success. Get access to this class and so many more when you join Skillshare. Right now, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description box down below will get a one month free trial to Skillshare so you can get started exploring your creativity today. Okay, let's get back to the video. Well, this is my first official night in the micro camper. I did spend a night in here before, but I didn't have the sleeping platform or really anything at all. So this is, this is pretty nice actually. It's very spacious in here, pretty cozy. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. morning guys we were at that little lake if that's what you want to call it that I was talking about yesterday I'm gonna do some fly fishing Kang is fishing his spinning setup and uh, we're gonna see what we're gonna get here now I mentioned earlier but the other day we were here I think it was actually like two days ago we were here and I, I caught a trout or not a trout a uh, smallmouth bass really last second I'm hoping that we get some action. The fish don't seem as active right now. There's not really as much action on, on the surface as there was the other day, but there was some, so hopefully we snag one. <laughs> Ooh, he going already, dang. guys now I'm gonna be fishing this dry dropper setup and basically what that is is I have this dry fly at the end of my line and then I've got another about three foot piece of line and then I have a little nymph fly on the end of that so basically 
the dry fly will be on the surface and not only can I fish that, you know, fish could come up to the surface and try to take it, but also since the nymph sinks underwater, the dry fly will act as an indicator. So if a fish strikes underwater, I'll see this fly dip down under the water and I'll know to set the hook. you and I, I just see my line go the worst part about hiking or camping or fishing in LA or going into any of the wilderness areas is there's just graffiti everywhere and there's always trash everywhere and it's sad it's sad and disgusting to see that people people ple people treat these places like trash like, look at this trash here trash there graffiti there trash everywhere pick up your damn trash people disgusting there's like graffiti on rocks and stuff too, on the side of the cliff. There will be graffiti everywhere on the rocks in the middle of the woods. Like why? Why are you tagging rocks? So I didn't have any luck on the fly setup, unfortunately, which sucks because the other day I caught one really clean on the fly, the fly setup, but I swapped over to this little trout spinning rod. Got these little mini swim baits on there. I think we're gonna kill it with this. I don't think they're interested in this color. That's it? Mm. I only got the one bite so far. There's one. Nice. Ooh, I'm gonna have to make sure he doesn't get into the weeds. Oh, he's in the weeds! Oh no, that's gone, dude. Come on. Don't do this. I knew it. I saw him coming right towards the weed. Well, there he is. Oh no, he's like covered in weeds. He's still on? Yeah, he is. All right. Cool. Look at that little guy. Right as I was saying that they don't want this color. First fish at this lake. Well, actually, second fish. There's one. Oh, he came off. There's one. Oh no, there he goes! Oh. <laughs> he got lost in the weeds! Alright guys, we're calling it. The bite has really slowed down, so we're gonna head back to the campsite and make some breakfast. And coffee. Whew! So the worst thing ever just happened. We got back to the truck. And I realized that my keys were no longer on my hip belt. Hip belt, is that what they're called? Belt loop? Belt loop, they were no longer on my belt loop because this little clip here, when you're running around, sometimes it just falls right off. And so we thought, oh no, we're gonna have to walk around the entire lake searching high and low for the keys, but they were right, right at the beginning of the, of the lake. So that was pretty lucky. Oh, thank God. Unfortunately, like a dummy, I forgot to grab camp, camp fuel stove, camp, camp stove, camp stove fuel um, when we went to the grocery store, the little green Coleman canisters. So that means we're gonna have to try to start the fire back up if we want to cook breakfast. And I probably, really sadly, will not be able to have any coffee until later. So for now, the coconut water will have to do.
eggs cooked in bacon grease. Nothing like it. Hell yeah. I think it actually tastes better cooked on the fire like that rather than a camp stove. You get all the smoky flavors because the smoke is just pouring on top of the food. Delicious. It is so incredibly hot today, so I got a cold brew on the way back. Woo! Starbucks, but their cold brew is pretty solid. Can't complain. All right, folks, and that is going to do it for this video. Fishing in the freshwater around Los Angeles is, it's cool that it's there and you can do it because growing up, I would have never really thought to go fish any lakes or rivers or anything in the Los Angeles area. But other than other than that, I mean, it's kind of the whole like trash everywhere and graffiti all over the rocks and the overcrowdedness. And it's just, it's, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. If you're in the area and you really want to try it out, then I say go for it. The camping was really cool. The campground was was fun, we ate good food, um, it was a chill little trip. But that being said, you guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own, live life, beat the status quo, y'all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. It looks kinda cool with the tape actually. It's done! <laughs> Who needs string? <laughs>